Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with a look that went a little bit more glam than I thought it was going to go. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, I decided to add a lash to it to make it even more glam than what it had turned out to be. So um, I guess we'll go ahead and get started here. And uh, I started with the Glow Oil. Uh, this is by Supergoop. It has an SPF of 50 on it. And so that's what I went ahead and used as my primer today. Uh, like I said, when I started this look, it wasn't going to be a glam look. So um, I went ahead and used uh, one of my favorite uh, tinted moisturizers for the summer, which is the Wet n Wild uh, Tinted Hydrator. I have mine in light. And like I said, I wasn't going to do a glam look, and it just sort of took off. So I did end up doing a glam look today. And um, I went ahead and used the Wet n Wild uh, Color Icon. This one is in Bikini Contest. It's a bronzer. It has a lot of red in it. And I like it because it has a lot of red in it. And so I think it works pretty good on my skin tone. As far as blush, ColourPop. And I, this is the Let's Dance color. So um, it's a peachy, corally kind of color. Really pretty. I like it. And I added in the Seismic Highlighter as well. So uh, this is from ColourPop as well. And with the ColourPop, you can get that at Ulta, Target, or on the ColourPop website. With the Wet n Wild, it's a drugstore. So it's in uh, Walgreens and Target and all sorts of places like that. Mm. And then moving on to what I did on the eyes, I went ahead and used the NYX Thicket Stick It in Cool Ash Brown. This one's available at the drugstore. And I went ahead and used the Mile High, um, Sky High, and Cosmic Black as well. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for the eye look, um, the Glam Light, they did three different eyeshadow palettes in the Scooby-Doo collection. One is a makeup palette, and then they have two tin pan palettes. And this is the Rutro Ruggy, the green palette. Or at least it's, uh, yeah, it's mainly green. This part of the palette is green, and these are blue. So um, I, call, I call it the green palette. And um, let's see, what did I go ahead and do here? So I went ahead and used this color on the outer corner. And then I went ahead and used this color as base color. Uh, put a little bit of this right below the brow. And that's a really pretty one. Uh, did this on the lid. And then a little bit of this right on the inner corner. And when inner corner, I mean going from my inner corner up to my brow. So... Um, that's what I did there for the eyeliner. I did this all along, so all along the eye, and then from about midway out to the outer corner, I put this color. So that's what I did there. And then going ahead and getting into false eyelashes. And there comes a point in everybody's life when you realize that you're older and that some things just aren't going to go ahead and work the same way as they did when you were younger. And so I found that with lashes and um, my eye shape, eye shape has definitely changed. And so with me, half lashes are the way to go. Because if I try to do a full lash at this point in my life, I will end up in tears with glue all over my fingers and glue in my hair and glue everywhere and just sitting there, you know, cursing life in general. And nobody wants that. You don't want that, especially not before you go out. So um, AOA is sold on the Miss A website and it is a wonderful place for dollar makeup. Not only do they have makeup, but they have eyelashes and they have a really good selection, library of eyelashes. So I got the area black ones and um, I went ahead and cut them. I was aiming for half lash. I pretty much did a three quarter lash, but that's okay because I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. And um, went ahead and used the Duo uh, glue as well. And so, yeah, 
I think it opens up my eyes a little bit, gives it a little bit more pop. Um, it definitely gives me like a gazillion tons of lashes that I don't have normally. But yeah, I thought for a night out, that would be a lot of fun. And this is the way that the eye look turned out. So as you can see, the lashes are big and fluffy and very curled. So yeah, it's a fun look. And I went ahead and used uh, the Squaw Lips by AOA. So if you are doing an order, again, everything runs about a dollar to three dollars on the website. And they have bundles that may be ten dollars, but you know, everything is very affordable. This particular, this was a lifesaver, lifesaver, because um, I just ended up with a pimple right there on my lip and it was so painful that yeah I picked at it and then it looked like I had just a little line it looked like I had taken a knife and just like that on my lip but I didn't it was a pimple and um, so I've been trying to keep it ooey and gooey and put some um, triple antibiotic ointment on it but also keep it you know ooey and gooey so it can start healing and it yeah it it's a rough place to have a cut. If you can avoid having a cut there, do, because it's not good. But this squalips, it's squalene, basically. That's all it is. And it is so moisturizing. It is amazingly moisturizing. So is, um, let's see, the uh, tinted moisturizer that I'm using today, the Wet n Wild. It has hyaluronic acid and squalene in it. And again, for moisturizing, um, I really haven't done a wear test on it. I doubt you would get 12 to 14 hours out of it. But if you need something to moisturize, these are really good for moisturization. So if you just have a day where you're just going and doing errands and stuff like that, these two are really good. And they're really good things to have in your... Um, you know, just in your back pocket so that when you have stuff like this happen, of course, nobody ever has a pimple that pops, right? So, but when you have stuff like that happen, these kind of things are really good. So, um, yeah, this is a totally unexpected video that I really didn't expect to go the way that it went, but it did. And, um, I think it went pretty well. Um, I, I'm using the La Cienga. Uh, by ColourPop. That's what I have on there. And yeah, um, I love this color. I think it's really pretty for an everyday color. It just goes really well. And I think that's just about all that I did here. And um, yeah, it, the eye look just came out so glam that I wanted to put an eyelash with it to make it even a little bit more glam. Is basically the whole way the this video turned out. And um, I think that's about it. And thank you and have a great day. Bye.